What is going on guys? Devinator here, back again on the Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. So let's go ahead and check out our Pokemon. All we have is Thundaquil right now. We're going to try and get some encounters. What did we do? Did we get the ball yet? Did we get... Did we get Pokeballs? We did get the Pokeballs, so the Nuzlocke has began. I wish we could go ahead and take that... Uh, Chikorita. That sucks. Alright, so let's go get some encounters. This lady, I think, tells us to go talk to her. Nope. No. I don't need help catching Pokemon. So how is y'all's day? Mine was good. Happy Wednesday. Yes, this is going up on Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I hope you all have had a great week so far. We're in the hump now. Let's see what our first encounter is first before we go on with that. Pidgey. Alright, so hopefully going to be a Pidgeotto and then a Pidgeot. Uh, hopefully I don't kill it with this tackle. Good. So I should be able to throw a Pokeball at it and this should catch. So let's try the pack. Pokeball. Use that. Yeah, but how's y'all's week? We're in the hump now. Only a few more days till the weekend. Hopefully y'all get your... Oh! You little bastard. If I attack again, I'll kill it. Try again, I guess. I don't want to not catch it. There we go. Pidgey was caught. Welcome to the squad, Pidgey. And I'm not I'm not gonna uh, nickname them yet. There we go. Thanks, Pidgey. No to the party you go. So I should I know I should probably be grinding a little bit. A little. Just a weedle bit. But no encounters there, nothing there. I think we can get an encounter in here. No. Can I go this way? Route 46. So this is a new route. I can get an encounter here. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Geodude. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I'm not even mad about that. Wouldn't give it a tackle attack. Not very effective. We can weaken this thing down quite a bit. Just make sure it don't kill Cyndaquil. I don't want to lose our starter right here. Eh. Just keep attacking. Good. I'm glad that attack missed. I'm starting to get a little bit uh, freaked out here. Oh, fuck. Do I have a... Do I have a healing item? I do have a potion. So I'm going to hold off on it. I'm going to let him hit me with the tackle one more time. And then I'll heal with the potion. Because I want to get this Geodote down quite a bit. And this will heal me pretty much to full health. It actually will be full health. Yeah, so I need to use that on Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's back up to full health. It only does like three. Oh, that was a critical hit. So it does like two damage. I've never done a Nuzlocke before and I have to be very careful because I usually just blow through and if they die, they die. I'll just go over to heal. And I can't do that here. I have to follow the rules of the Nuzlocke. If a Pokemon dies, it's dead. And I'm not used to that. Alright, so he's in the red. I have three balls. My health is good. Let's try and catch this guy. Three Pokeballs. Shot one. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Geodude stayed in the ball. Welcome to the team, Geodude. So we've got a Cyndaquil, a Pidgey, and a Geodude now. No, we don't do nicknames yet. Maybe in the future. So I'm going to go back out here and head to that town. So we've got that encounter. 
29 and 46 is encounter. And then we'll go down through here. Great. New encounter. Not new encounter, just an encounter period. Another PG. Yeah, I'm probably just going to go ahead and kill it with Cyndaquil. I need to get some more XP for it. Ooh, almost a one shot. Yeah, I want to get... I want to try and get Cyndaquil evolved soon. Oh yeah. Didn't gain much, but every little bit of it, it helps. Jeez. Another one. Another one. Pidgey everywhere. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is go to the Pokemon Center and heal. That crit, a critical hit will kill the Pidgey. Note to self. So we need to go to this town and heal. Do they have a shop? If they have a shop, I want to see if how much money I have. See if I can't buy some. Do I have to talk to this guy to get the running shields? Yeah, uh, the running shoes. Yeah, you talk to this guy. Sure. And you have to let him just do this, and he'll give you the running shoes at the end, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the... I know how this works. I just want the shoes, buddy. So that way we can get another encounter. <sighs> we can get a, another encounter on Route 30, which we will do as soon as we get done healing and seeing if we can buy some more balls. That's his house. Oh, map card. I know he gives me the running shoes, I think. Maybe not. How do you get the running shoes? Maybe you go up here? I thought for sure. Um, huh. Nope. I'm not going up there yet. I'm going to heal. <clears throat> what do we got in the mark? Uh, how much monies do I have? Okay. So, first things first. I'm going to buy like... That many of those. And I'm gonna buy five antidotes and six Pokeballs. So I've got, oh. So I've got a good amount of healing, a few potions. I've got antidotes just in case I get poisoned. And I have Pokeballs. Yeah, I want you to heal my Pokemon to full health. Perfect health. Right, give them back. I want to get Cyndaquil to a higher level and then I'll start switch training with um, Pidgey or Geodude. Probably Geodude. Maybe Pidgey. I'm not sure. I don't remember what the first gym is. Alright. Encounter for Route 30. What's it going to be? A Caterpie. Shit. It's not the worst that it could be. At least it's uh, something different. We got a full different, completely different variety of Pokemon on the team right now. We have a Bug type and Caterpie, if we catch the Caterpie, and we killed it. <laughs> So no Caterpie, there goes our Route 30 encounter, and I just killed it on accident. So we cannot get another one, so Route 30, done. So I got a berry. I'm going to put the berry, because you can just put them on, hold on. You got to go to pack. I'm going to put the berries on, it's a holding item, you put it on, uh, give give it to give one to Cyndaquil and then give this one to Geodude so now they can heal themselves in battle let's go in here and talk to this guy 
Uh, that's all he has to say. Everyone's having fun battling. You should too. Okay. Alright. First battle here. Hopefully he doesn't have two crazy Pokemon. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be higher level than Cyndaquil at level 9. He can send out Rattata. Oh yeah, level 4. Cyndaquil's got this. Cyndaquil got this. I can't wait for him to learn a fire type move. The tackle sucks. Cyndaquil is honestly one of my favorite Pokemon. He's so awesome. He's got a great evolution line. Yeah, everything about Cyndaquil is awesome. That's all I have to say. I do like Totodile too. He's got an awesome evolution line also. The one I don't really care for is Chikorita. I like Chikorita and I like Bayleaf, but I don't like Meganium. That was kind of like a... I think they done it wrong. I think they could have had something better in Meganium than, than Meganium with Bayleaf and Chikorita. Personal opinion though. I know some of y'all are probably super big fans of Chikorita. It's not that I don't like Chikorita. It's that uh, it's not my personal favorite. I wish we would have got this. I would have liked to have a bee drill on my team. I don't really feel like fighting that because they'll poison me. I don't really know this game too well. I've played through Soul Silver. I don't really, I don't really know. Wild Hoppip. I know we need like a water type. We need some sort of water type just because we have the fire, and I want a rock. Or we have a rock type. I want. A grass type and a water type. I don't know. I want all the types. I want a big variety. This would be a nice one to try and catch. Sucks. I would so catch it too if I was just playing through the game. It makes me want to, but I know I have to kill it. Bye bye, Hopip. Alright. So Cyndaquil. I could probably put Geodude out now. Pidgey. I'm gonna switch. Pidgey. And Cyndaquil. Because I feel like Pidgey levels up faster. I think. I just want to get somebody to evolve. Alright. Send out Pidgey. Hey, I got a Pidgey that I'm going to send out. Yours is level 2. Mine's level 3. I could fight it with Pidgey, but I don't want to. Switch to Cyndaquil. And get that switch training in. Come on, just attack me already and do your two damage so I can kill you with one hit. So fucking close. Now you're dead. I wonder how much... 10. That done nothing for Cyndaquil. It probably done quite a bit for... Yeah, I'll switch. Just switch to Pidgey. Alright. Come back. Go Pidgey. That gave him about an eighth of uh, health uh, experience. So, go back out to swim to C blah, blah, blah. Cyndaquil. So, we got a really good encounter in Geodude. I don't think... I can't stress that enough. That's awesome because normal type moves are not very effective against Geodude. And that's pretty much what everything is right now. Oh wow, we're getting really lucky. His attacks are missing. Sweet. So Pidgey probably got pretty close to leveling up. That's going to take forever. But I don't want him to die. Alright, here we go. I don't necessarily remember where I'm going. So at this point, I'm just training up Pidgey. <laughs> Pidgey and Cyndaquil. Let's switch out to Cyndaquil. And kill this Pidgey and keep on about my business. I wonder when they use the berries. 
wish I could have caught a higher level Pidgey, but beggars can't be choosers. So when they get into the yellow, I think is when they eat the berry. I like that. It's nice just to have a. You find them like for free. I wonder if. I wonder where you can find more. I could always take the one off Geodude. Yay, level four. Stats are horrible. No, oh, you're not a trainer? That kind of sucks. Here we go. Trainer battles. This is the best way to grind up your Pokemon, let's be honest. If you're doing the switch training method. <sighs> Bug catcher done. I don't remember where to get the running shoes. I need to figure out where to get the running shoes. So go ahead and switch to Cyndaquil. Go! Oh, that done nothing. Oh, my attack missed. That's stupid. That yeah, done one HP, the one damage. See, I wish we had a fire type move right here. I'd blow Caterpie away and it would die. It's like annoying right now. It's like, eh. all right, Caterpie died. Cyndaquil is gonna be level 11 soon. Yeah, I have to just keep switch training. It's the best way. Here's Caterpie again. I wonder where Pidgey's at now. To be honest, I'm gonna try attacking it with Pidgey. See what happens. But it failed, okay. I'm cool with that. If I can kill this Caterpie with Pidgey, which it looks like I'm gonna be able to. Yeah, yeah, I should be able to beat this Caterpie with Pidgey. One more attack, maybe? Yeah, one more hit and, uh,. I beat it, so I didn't have to switch train. Oh shit! Oh. There we go. Bye bye, Caterpie. Level five. Way to go, Pidgey. These stats are still terrible. Sand attack, though. We learned sand attack. It's somewhere, right? We're learning something. You gotta learn the small moves to get to the better moves, I guess. So go this way. There's a buried tree over there. I'm getting a call. Hello? Yep. Nope. So I don't want her to save my money. I don't know what happens if she does. So I can cut that tree that I don't have cut. <laughs> All right, so what do we got? Caterpie, I wish I would have caught you. I didn't really want you, but I wish I would have caught you. So I'm gonna do as much damage as I can and I feel like I'm comfortable with doing with Pidgey. I don't wanna kill him, but I wanna make sure I, I, I wanna do as much as I can. And I should be able to kill with this one, maybe, maybe. Yes? Yes. So I killed with that one. Nice. 30 more experience. Level 6. Pidgey is now level 6. He's another step closer to that Pidgeotto. Jesus. This is like Encounter Road. Another Pidgey. What level are you? 4. I should be able to take it. Yeah. Two damage. Three. Just gotta be careful. I don't want to. I don't want Pidgey to die. If I hit one more time. I should be okay. All right. So I'm not gonna battle any more with Pidgey straight up by himself because I don't want him to die. <laughs> What's up here in this ball? Potion. Nice. So can I get an encounter in this uh, this cave here? Can I get an encounter in the dark cave?
So I can get an encounter in the dark cave. Awesome. Zubat. You're getting ready to come to the team, Zubat. So... I'm going to switch to Geodude. And catch him with Geodude because they're pretty close to the same level. Leech life. Ooh, only one. So I'm going to tackle because that's all I can do. And that only takes one sliver of HP, so that's okay. So I can do that a couple more times, it looks like, and I should be fine, especially because he's using Leech Life. So I definitely want to catch this. This would be cool to have. I haven't really ever used Zubat that much. But he is a nice Pokemon. I want to teach him Supersonic for sure. And keep Supersonic on him so I can confuse other trainers. Okay, now it's time for the Pokemon. Nope. Wrong one. Pack. Alright, time to start throwing balls at this thing. Please stay in. Please stay in. Easy peasy. Zubat, welcome to the team. Welcome to the team, Zubat. So now we have a team of four Pokemon. We have the Cyndaquil as our starter. Our next encounter was the Pidgey. Then we had Geodude. Is this a new, is this a new? That's Route 31. Oh! So did we get, did I get an encounter over here? I don't remember. Even if it is, it's Pidgey, so it don't matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch, just cause it's such a high level. Switch to Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's in good shape. That's not cool. Now my accuracy has fell. Kill it! So I've done pretty much half HP. Hopefully I don't miss. Please don't miss. Thank you. Damn it. I wish we would have gotten a cool encounter here. I didn't realize that it changed. I wasn't paying attention. I think I already had one of these encounter me. Then I, I just didn't pay attention. Cyndaquil is getting close to leveling up again, so we missed that one. What we got going on over here? Another berry. Bitter berry, what does that do? What does that do? Heck. Self cure for confusion. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, you caught me. I probably need to take that berry off of Geodude and put it on Cyndaquil. Oh my god, he's got a fucking full team of Caterpies. <laughs> Here they come. I'm going to try one attack with Pidgey. See where it does. Oh, man. I'm going again. I'm going to attack again. I think I still... I don't want speed. Fuck. Oh, it only done one HP. That's not bad. Alright, I'm done fighting with Pidgey, I think. Level 7. Caterpie... No. We'll just stay in, see what happens. What level is it? Two? We're going to attack it. If it was any higher level, I'd switch. But it only does one HP of damage. And I can kill it in two hits. It won't even get a chance to attack me on the second time. Caterpie again. Oh, that's not what I meant to press. What level are you? Two. Alright, so we'll attack it again. Critical. Nope. 
back in the red, back in the red. And that was a critical hit. So we know a level 2 Caterpie, even at critical, will only do 1 HP to us. So we're about to level up Pidgey. Um, I'm going to switch with this one. So we go ahead and switch out. That's why. So we're gonna go ahead and use a potion. Okay. And now I'm gonna use I'm not going to antidote yet. I'm going to attack. Tackle. Fuck, I wish I would have killed it. Here comes a string shot. Speed fell again. I still have speed. Alright, I don't even know why I was stressing about that. Pidgey gains XP and Pidgey's level 8. 16. Oh, so close level 11. Let's see what's in this Pokeball. Was it even worth it? A Pokeball! So we found a Pokeball. Found, found a Pokeball in the Pokeball. So let's go ahead and uh, use an Antidote on... Or no, that's a potion. Antidote on Cynic Will. Just so he don't die. I think we're going to end it. Let's see how... We're gonna get an encounter here, and then we're gonna end the episode. Oh man, Bell Sprout! I want you so bad. I think they're in Bell Sprout Tower, though, right? I think. I I think. Attack with Cyndaquil, Vine Whip, not very effective. I wish I had a Fire Attack. But I don't. So I can kill it in one hit. Cyndaquil will level up this time. He might get that fire move. Maybe. God. Motherfucker. That was a critical hit. I'm gonna get killed by a fucking... Bellsprout. I would throw that ball right there. And catch it. Come on. Alright, so Bellsprout died. There we go. Level 11, Cyndaquil. Yeah, still shit stats. Nothing. You get out of the grass. Okay, I can get out of the grass. <laughs> Fuck, we have to go that way. Oh my god. I keep encountering stuff. I'm just gonna run, I think. Alright, we got away safely. So I'm gonna get out of the grass. I'm gonna get into the next town. And I keep encountering mons. I don't wanna attack them. I just wanna get to the next town! And heal! Run! So I'm just going to keep running because I don't really feel like battling all these. It's just going to lead me to the next town, please. Violet City. All right. So, guys, I'm going to end episode here. I hope you all did enjoy episode two of the Nuzlocke. A little bit, of, a lot of grinding and some new encounters there at the beginning of the episode. And we should have some more encounters coming this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy do hit that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I've got content coming out all the time. I've been pumping content out like crazy. All kinds of new fresh things coming. And great things are on the way. Thank you all again. I hope you did enjoy this video. And I'll see you all in the